Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Bye. I'm gonna make a lot of you guys feel old. The thing in this box came out 20 years ago. Blockbuster was still a thing. The thrilling conclusion to the best trilogy of all time, Lord of the Rings. In 2003, the world was devastated by the loss of Creed. They broke up. So a past video clip I had of, on YouTube, I talk about my original guitar rig. Part of that setup that was the, the game changer that's in this box. <gasps> oh my God, came with a note. Did it come with origami? Oh my God, it came with tea. I don't know anything about origami, but this is the sickest stuff I've ever seen. We got the Manuel. We got... Oh, yes! There she is. Oh, I think he's had like a giant power supply too. Oh, it's, oh yeah. Ooh, it smells. I was looking through my emails and I actually found that I bought one of these used on eBay like 2005. So I didn't have it right when it came out because I was a poor kid back then. But... Pod XT man was good. And I wanna answer the question, does it still sound good in 2023? Is it the user? Is it the is it the way you the way you twiddle the knobs? Let's find out together. Oh let's turn this baby on. Oh <laughs> we only got the right side. Fix that in post. That's not bad. How do I use this? Oh, I'm having like, what do you call it? Panic attack. Yeah, 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 I gotcha. Spinal puppet. That's good. <laughs> I have to fix this. Now I do like how like, it's got lots of knobs. Like, like modern modelers have like, you know, every knob is like assignable now. Whereas this is like, you get the, with the bass, you get the bass. Okay, so you turn the reverb knob and you can go, oh, what have I done? <laughs> I must have switched presets by accident. This video is just gonna be me stumbling through old gear. Stumbling through old gear with Danny. <laughs> Facial fuzz. Yikes. What sweet echo. <laughs> It's so good. And this is actually great. Like you could you could totally still use this. I'm wondering if a big part of modeling is the cabinet modeling we use today. I mean, this is this is using a pretty sophisticated for its time way it models things, but I'm wondering if cabinet modeling has changed a little bit. So I'm going to turn the camera off, switch over and have the cabinets off on this, and I'm going to use the brand new IR2's cabinets. So let's try that out. Plop. So let's do Plexi Jump Lead and uh, let's, let's see if we can get it to sound good. Now I don't know if it's the latency of the unit that makes that like saggy sound, but I kind of dig it. understand the UI of this enough to turn off the cab. I think I go to cab slash air, select cab, and I think if I just scroll over. So scroll over, no cab. Now I have the IR2 set to just cabinet modeling. None of the preamp is in the circuit. It's just the impulse response in stereo with the ambience, which is just a room sound almost. So if I turn that on. That sounds pretty good. May I please have the tip screamer? Screamer. 
So the cabinet modeling is making a difference, honestly, in my opinion. If you if you scroll around the model knob of the IR2, you're actually getting you're getting different cabinet sounds that are assigned to each amp, but you're not getting the amp. So I can scroll around and go. As you can see, you can kind of zhuzh things up if you use some sort of impulse response unit as well. That's where I think a lot of the, the technology has changed is impulse responses and stuff like that is the replication is better, the DSP is higher, so there's more information they're able to computate or whatever you call it in that impulse response. So cabinet modeling has changed quite a bit. But overall, still pretty good in the distortion zone. So let's try to get a clean sound. Let's try with the cabinet modeling of the IR2, see if we can get it to sound better, so. Okay, here, listen up, listen up. Come, come closer, come closer. Wasn't digging the fender sound, but you switch to that high watt mode. Even the modeler, it's not even a real high watt. Sounds better, high watt, the best. That's dope, it's dope. With this and this, this makes the modeler just better. It, it, if you got an old modeler at your place, just poop one of those on the end there and turn the cabinet modeling off on the old old guy. This thing got a fuzz on it. <gasps> oh, fuzz pie. <laughs> That was like a, the butt of every joke. Oh, it's insane. Now, one thing I'll say about these is, is that they do, they do feel compressed. Like the distortion stuff is pretty compressed. So they make it so easy to play because <laughs> Plus. So yeah, there you go. Can 20 year old modelers sound good? Yeah, yeah. More likely than not, the limitation is more in the cab modeling. That part is really hard to do because with cab modeling, you're modeling like the physical sound of a room. Mating something like this to a modern cab modeler it really will make a big difference. So don't immediately throw away your old gear if you have it. Just goes to show that the best sounding modeler is the modeler you have and then the one that you know how to use. That's really all there is to it. Have fun using what you got and have fun just playing guitar and being creative. That's what I do and I'm having a good time. So thanks for watching me have a good time. Catch you on the flip side. Subscribe.